Good morning. Aloha. Ohayo uh, gozaimasu, my friend and viewers. Today, my program, Law Across the Sea, is titled Tomodachi Talk. My guest is Joji Kamioka, who is, among other things, vice president of Hakuo University. Uh, Mr. Kamioka and I have been friends for about 40 years. He is committed to ensuring that Hakuo University has a strong international presence. He believes that by increasing contacts with other cultures in our interconnected society, we can all grow and develop. It is of utmost importance to students in Mr. Kamioka's mind to develop these skills in, or, in this globalized world. Uh, he has been instrumental in expanding Hakuo's international initiatives, he welcomes students other countries, and he has programs sending Japanese students of Hakuo to other countries, especially to Hawaii, which he's been doing for many, many years. Although most of my programs deal with law, today we're going to talk a little bit about culture and how culture affects us. And as a lawyer, you can learn a lot from culture. In many ways, being a lawyer, you have to interview your clients and learn things from them in order to help them, in order to defend them, in order to advance their causes. So today, Joji and I, we're old friends, we're tomodachis. We're going to be talking a little bit about culture and how it affects us. So Joji, welcome Hi. very much. Good, Good to, to see, see you again. <laughs> Thank you for coming yeah, on today. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to participate in your program. But I'm not a lawyer, even though I'm not a judge. That's OK. I it, hope I'm not imposing on you. Not at all. And this, but we are friends we are over 40 years. I know your hair or not. <laughs> I still remember. When I had hair, yeah. Yeah, yeah curly hair, uh, as yeah. of the time. But well, uh, you know. <coughs> We sent in the student to Hawaii since 1976. Why did you do that? What, what, is your, what are your feelings about that? Yeah. What, what is the reason? Our college started in 1974, but at the time for the English uh, major student required to go to Hawaii. At the time, only 50 students. But at the time of the 1967, only half, 25 students come. Over 45 years ago, nobody goes to abroad. Right. Yeah, so, but uh, the times, Hawaii is the closest country mm -hmm. to know the Western culture. That's why we started. Since then, we send in the student to Hawaii, over 3,000 students came, but only short term, like an excursion trip. But our graduate student number is 30,000. It means one ten. I mean, uh, ten percent of the uh, Hakko students student body have come to Hawaii to know Hawaii to learn the mutual culture, understanding or different cultures. Why is that important? You know, <clears throat> to know the other culture or to know the other religious is very important for the for them. Over forty years or fifty years. Our dream is going to abroad with Mr. and Mrs. But that over 40 had the money is too late. Should mm. be learn the different culture under 20. When you're young. Yes. I was here on 1969 at the time of I'm a student in Hawaii. 1969, yeah. How old were you then, may I ask? No, I'm old, nearly 70 years old. Now? So now, you were about 20 years old. Yeah, at the time. But I had an intensive English course in UH Manoa for two months or three months. But at the time, I just play guitar, <laughs> like uh, folk music at the time. I, I had a show in Kik TV for the one hour show for Heizu and Koho. I was here in Hawaii? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm playing also Nippon Theater no more, but for Sheraton Waikiki singing. 
Okay. Yeah. So you so you 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 were not studying English, but you were studying uh, yeah, song lyrics. Song lyrics. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but uh, <coughs> these experiences for me very I get so many good experience. So that's why I ask to the students going to Hawaii. But also aside from that, we send in a student in Oxford in England or New York. California, San Bernardino, or Sacramento, or Indiana states is our sister states of our Tochigi prefecture. So we send in a student IUPUI, but still Hawaii is very popular. Popular place. You yeah. know, one thing I noticed uh, when I, you know, you and I have both gone back and forth many times. Uh, yes. You've come to Hawaii many times. I've been to Japan quite a few times yes. also. First time I went to Japan, I was a student also. Mm, and I, for the I, Sophia. I, Sophia University, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I went to, uh, it, Sophia is near New Otani Hotel. Oh, right, right. And, and so one day I was in the New Otani Hotel, mm. and I, hold, I heard this American tourist yelling, mm. why doesn't anybody speak English here? Mm. You know, which tells me, as I think back on it, a lot about both cultures. Oh. You know, <coughs> Americans expecting everybody to speak English. Yeah. And that, but the Japanese didn't didn't grab that didn't at grab that education at the time. Only a few Japanese. So what what, what, what explains that? That was uh, forty five years ago. Mm. The people who working in uh, New Otani already maybe retired. Mm. If you visit in right now, everybody can speak fluent English, really. So we study. We studied English very well, especially in the railway station or uh, hotels. These who serve Americans yeah, can, who are coming we more We started more. to yeah, speak English but very fluently. Did, did, At the time, it was no. No, no. And, and was there a reason for that? Was there a reason why? I mean, I mean maybe it's presumptuous as an mm. American to say yeah. everybody should speak English. OK, it, yes, it, it is yeah. presumption, not yeah. maybe. It means also American cannot speak French, sometimes <laughs> German too. Or yeah. Japanese for sure. Yeah, okay. but, but we find English is a common national language, no. not Esperanza. <laughs> no, no At one time speaking. that was what everybody was going to think. Was Esperanza, yeah, Esperanza. What is, but English is. So that's why in our country, even in elementary school, we started to learn the English. But already 10 years ago, started learning English at the uh, elementary school is Korea, China, Taiwan, Singapore, Philippines also. But they, we so are they, too late, ten, 10 years behind. Those other countries started earlier. Yeah, earlier that's they why. felt that it was an advantage yes. to speak that's English. True. That's true. Maybe we shouldn't be, maybe we as Americans are very lucky, mm -hmm. very lucky but because of that. Uh, those other countries thought we're going to get in, mm. speak English, and be able to deal yeah. with Americans, mostly Americans. Yes. Japan so. started a little bit later. Late, late. Like some things in Japan seem very formal, mm -hmm. how you say things. Customs seem to change slow in Japan. What, what are some examples? No, we still have uh, some respect for the older people mm. or uh, for the women. But in the United States, very equal. Paul John is John, Mike is Mark, something like that. I astonish because uh, in Japan, we speak for the older people very polite, mm. but in English, not like that. But I astonish on the TV show, mm. former President Clinton yes. uh, cross a leg on the... When, he, when he's being interviewed. Yeah, but there's an audience come to ask him the question. Also, that audience also cross the leg. What's wrong with that? Yeah, that is, <laughs> oh, uh, should be respect. Yeah, like the attitude is, must be a modest. Or oh, may I ask you a question? But he asking, oh, the president, uh, I'll ask you a question like that. So a little Something. too open, a little too, too, too open, formal. Too open, but. Uh, From the Japanese point, viewpoint. Japanese viewpoint, uh, bow first. May I ask you a question? <laughs> So if, I, then, if, if I'm an American lawyer, yes. I'm meeting a Japanese client. Mm. Should not do cross the Don't leg. cross my legs. No, yeah, no, no. Just that is a cultural difference. Mm. So, so that's why 
so many Japanese students after visiting the excursion to, to Hawaii, American drivers very rude. They didn't follow the rule. Yeah, they okay. turned to the right easily with on the left, left, right. But that is your state law or American law. When you after stop, nobody, no car coming, then easily to. It's okay to turn right. But in Japan, no. So, so, so that's why our student is Japanese driver is very good. American, bad. They cannot understand the rule. But that is a point of view. Japanese standard is different for the American standard. And, and that's what they would write after some sort of evaluation yes, yes. or something of after their trip. The trip. And they were very surprised because yes. people are not following the Japanese traffic rules. Yes, yes. Okay. So that is a difference. But also, beer is very cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Why beer is very cheap? Uh, they say. Okay, so let's say uh, if I am a, uh, a, if you are my client from mm -hmm. Japan, what do I, what do I think? I, I, uh, if you come to a stop and you won't turn, that I will know, I mm -hmm. will know for that because in Japan, mm -hmm. you cannot turn right. On, on, oh, the, yes, light, on the light, and yes. so maybe that's what they're imposing their own cultural values yes, and rules true. and laws on uh, America. Mm. Uh, is that that's true? What, what happened for you or for both? both, both, both. Yeah. So mutual cultural understanding is very important to know the each other, uh, know the about for the religious. I don't know why Muslim don't eat the pork or something like that. So these things is part of the culture. In J so in Japan understand. you might not understand that. Yeah, but we started to the, some business for the meal for the, what we call like uh, Muslims product to make, for serve for the restaurant. Do you, do you, hale, do you, hale, hale, oh, I don't know. Do you have uh, students from all over the world? Uh, yes, sometimes from the Malaysia as a uh, the uh, Muslims, yeah. Yeah, and so sometimes when you are in Japan, you have to learn about these other cultures in order yes. to to uh, bring them into your school. Mm -hmm. Is this hard for Japanese? Is this a hard thing for Japanese to learn? I I, I remember when I was a student. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they would point at me, gaijin. Oh yeah, yeah. Gaijin. and sometimes. I think because I didn't know what I was doing. Mm. I wasn't form following the rule, mm. formal rule. Wow. So that's why we have a system for the exchange program. Mm. Exchange student from Indiana State or uh, Belgian from Norway. This student is very good uh, student to know the different cultures. Does it help? Does yes, it help? help. And so your students good, at the good end. Good influence for the, our students, Japanese students. That's why we started to the exchange program. We send it to the more than forty students to send it to the uh, Australia in Brisbane, Griffiths University. We send in this forty students for one year course, mm -hmm. free, tuition free. Mm -hmm. But uh, Griffiths University is sending to have only two students. Yeah, yeah. I what, don't know why, but we get uh, so many influence because, how do I say, one Australian teacher asking to the additional class. Let me, let yeah. me, let's take a break. Oh uh, yeah? And then we're gonna, I want to ask okay, you about that. Okay, one, we'll take a break right now, thank you. A veteran, my victory was finding the strength to be a champion. My victory is having a job I can be proud of. At DAV, we help veterans get the benefits they've earned. My victory was finishing my education. My victory was getting help to put our lives back together. DAV provides veterans with a lifetime of support. My victory is being there for my family. Help us support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. 
Aloha, my name is Raya Salter, and I'm the host of Power Up Hawaii, which you can see live at, from 1 to 1.30 every Tuesday at thinktechhawaii.com and then later on YouTube. I am an energy attorney, clean energy advocate, and community outreach specialist. And on Power Up Hawaii, we come together to talk about how can Hawaii walk towards a clean, renewable, and just energy future. To do that, we talk to stakeholders all over the spectrum, from clean energy technology folks to community groups to to politicians, to regulators, to the utility. So please join us Tuesdays at 1. Well, we are back with Joji Kamioka, Vice President of Akuo University. Uh, we've been talking about cultural differences that sometimes make a difference when you're just meeting people, and especially when you're a lawyer, when you, when you represent them. Uh, we were you know, when I went to Japan over 40 years ago, uh, there were uh, a number of students from America coming to learn about Japan. I don't think there were so many Japanese going to America at that time, but it, things have increased and we're starting to learn more and more about each other. Learning about our cultures is important. Joji, when we took our break, you were talking about uh, a experience you had at your school with an Australian teacher. Oh, yes. Uh, one Australian teacher is asking me to do the additional class because he's not the uh, full-time teacher. So, Georgie, please, I need the money. I'd like to additional class. But, you know, in Japan, the class is from Monday to Friday. Mm. Saturday is uh, like uh, additional or what you call like a uh, substance, uh, substance or some courses for the teachers. Like English. a special course of yeah, some sort. Only Saturday. So finally, I just put in an intensive course for him uh, for Saturday. So after the payment, he complained, Georgie, I worked <laughs> at the Saturday. Saturday must be price two times in Australia, right. even in the, is that right? I don't know. Saturday and Sunday is mm. Christianity or should not do work. So I worked for Saturday. Please give me double. Yeah, mm. so, so finally I, oh, that's a way in Australia. Do you remember the, in Australia had a, in Sydney had the Olympic? Yeah. Saturday and Sunday, good restaurant or close because of the payment which uh -huh. is double uh -huh. so good one close only the people who watch the olympic games saturday sunday go to the hamburger shop fried chicken only these things happen s still so you learn something yourself from, you? yeah, from, from another from culture. We, from another culture. Yeah, Christianity is, yeah, Sunday especially go to church. Mm -hmm. Don't work. Saturday too. Yeah. But, but Japan too. Japan, uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, not working, right? I mean, no, no school. But we started the class in uh, some elementary or junior high school. Uh, not all. Started, started to uh, study to study on Saturday. Before, Saturday and Sunday, no school. But like the United States, but change. That is for the, some problem for the education system. You know, you, you and I, uh, over the years, we've yes. met many times. Yes. we talked very candidly mm -hmm. about many, many things. Of what? What does it all mean? What, what are your thoughts? What, what is the interrelationship of cultures? Where are we going? What can we learn from one another? Mm. Good questions. Because we should know the, uh, each culture. After that, we should go to the another places or the goal. Because after the World War, we believe Japanese government and also we believe we follow the American style. Mm. Like a former Prime Minister Koizumi followed the Americans. Scrap and build, scrap and build, uh, try it again. This system is not so adjusted for the, our society. 
What is that? What do What's it mean? mean? Like, uh, do you remember the Ronaldo Reagan? Mm. He started as a like, salesman and started to the TV station or radio station. After that, the MC and become an actor and then become the, some unions. For changing, the, changing jobs. And then go to the governor for the California, running for the president. Mm -hmm. We don't respect so many occupations changing. The Japanese culture. Japanese culture should be on the one way to straight for 40 years, 50 years. <laughs> I can give you the metal like that. So in the United States, uh, that is changing. And one more step is admire things. So that's why at that time was uh, Ronald Reagan's funeral. Mm. I was in uh, Wisconsin. Even in airport, flux is like a half flux. Right, half mass, and, yeah. And then also when I check in uh, hotels, very boy, proud. This is time for to the, our proud president, Reagan, pass away, mm. he explained. So I astonished, we, our, we Japanese don't respect these guys. So the viewpoint, because yeah. he had so many jobs. Changing, is, as a time is in Japan, our government sent him to the good friend, like a former minister, Nakasone, just attending. Mm. But in the funeral, so many big shots from Europe, all over, Every, all over the world, except Japan. Japan is changing the occupation, it's not respectable. So can Japan learn from that? Or can it, what yeah, can after, we learn? After that, yeah, we find is uh, changing the occupation is not a shame. Yeah, like American way, try it again. This is merely bashful thing is, if fails, not standing up again. That is. Uh, so, so in J we Japan viewpoint was what before? Before is one occupation should not to change. Mm. When you police must be go to police. So if I'm a lawyer and I, I know you are a Japanese who have changed different occupations, maybe yeah. I can I can sense something wrong mm -hmm. culturally. Yeah. Now so are there, now but we have changing. influences from the American society. Mm. Like, uh, so still also like uh, your president now, not so popular, but he had uh, experience three times bankrupt. Yeah. After three times bankrupt, still he's working. Mm. That is the American way. Before- Keep trying, keep, keep fighting. Keep like, uh, trying, so the other uh, cultures, I suppose. Well, well, how about Japanese? What the Japanese, do they have the same feeling or? No, are... young generation is changing. But before, Change. before I am what I am because of you. Thank you for helping, <laughs> helping the others like that. I'm still keep on this occupation like that. That is a Japanese way. But now changing, affected from so many things from the United States. Is that good? You think it's good? Good. Are there, what, what are the good and what is the bad? Good? <laughs> I don't know. Ooh. Try it again. It's like, uh, let me try it again. That is the way, yeah? But now, our problem is after retired, six, five, 65 years or nearly 70 years, what shall we do? Mm. In Japan, or your country didn't tell the after the retire. We don't have any plan. Sometimes women have so many hobbies, or take a children, or take a granddaughter, something like that. But men, nothing to do in Japan. So many retired people only destroying the department store, oh, two hours. And then go to the library, just sitting down. That's an older, older generation. Yes. You think the younger generation is changing? Might be, might be a changing. Is Japan becoming more diverse? Because I that, think a lot yeah. of what we've talked about, yes. Japan was not diverse. Mm -hmm. And that's why they, you know, they spoke Japanese all the time. They didn't mm -hmm. speak other languages. Is th are things changing in Japan? I mean, oh, we, we must expect for the immigrant from other countries. Now our government's thinking to be, become a society with other nationality, different culture. 
living together like a United States. This is time because our population is going to increase. So this is time to helping uh, people from other countries to help. Is, is that really, yes. really so happening? After, so it means after 50 years, after 100 years, uh, this is Hawaii is uh, our example. So from point of Japanese point of view, in Japan, after 100 years, become like Hawaii. Really? Yes. Each nationality has each culture, but living together, speaking one language, this is a destination, is Hawaii, I suppose. That's what you think the future yes. of Japan. Well, that will mean also that sometime uh, there will be misunderstanding. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Oh, different cultures, different e cultures. Living together, uh, yeah, they don't uh, trust each other. Yeah. Maybe, or it's harder to make a contract. That's true. Because I learned, uh, I didn't learn the word in like a duck. Duck is only <laughs> duck. But it mean like Donald. Uh, yeah. Or D different words have a lot. different meanings. Yes, different meanings. A lot is uh, so many terror. After that, after the terror, I saw that a lot. But we didn't learn the name of the alert, so, like that. So you're beginning to learn a new vocabulary, new vocabulary, even in Japan. Yes, that's true. So, ooh. Let me ask you yes. one final short oh. question. What can we in America learn from, from Japan? Japan? What do you think we can learn? Modest. <laughs> <laughs> Only modest. But it should keep uh, friendly. Yeah, our society is just uh, helping uh, each other with our uh, neighbors before. Right now, getting weak. In Japan? Yes, like that. Because even though my neighbors, we didn't know <laughs> each other. Only right next door, yes, we know. But not involving for the, some societies, programs. The community is, communities is starting to change. Change in Japan. Change. And modesty, modesty. Is something that's built into the culture mm. in Japan. We we don't we don't yeah. in Japan we don't we talk about don't all our accomplishments. Much about for the volunteer, but in the United States, so many people at the volunteer volunteer yeah. for the Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, yeah we 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 just started. So we begin. Can, Japan can learn about that. From, yes, from, from that's from, true. That's yeah. true. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very yeah. much, Joji. It was nice to see you again yeah, after. All these years yeah. being together. Thank okay, you very thank much. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you.